Good morning. Oh, I'm still cold. Uh, Psalm 119, just one verse, verse 68. And for some of you, this may be hard to to receive because, again, we I'll explain that in a minute. But it just says, the psalmist says, you are good and you do only good. Teach me your principles. You are good. You do only good. Teach me your principles. The psalmist makes a declaration from one who had wandered away and now returns and is closely following his word. You are good. You do only good. Teach me your principles. Teach me your ways. Not everything we face or go through is good. Even as believers, we live in a fallen world and some things happen we don't understand and we just have to trust God. When we don't understand what's happening, Bill Johnson says from Bethel Church, when we don't understand what is happening, we have to go back to what we do understand and what we do understand is that God is good. And so I have to go back and declare what I'm going through, what is happening, that I may not understand, but in the middle of it, I do know that you are good and you only do good. And so I declare that and because of that, teach me your ways, your principles for me to live by. Teach me your word. Teach me the power of your word, the wisdom from your word, the hope in your word, faith in your word, truth in your word. Help me to pay attention to your principles, what you would say from your word. And the things that happen to me, good or bad, help me to grow, help me to mature, help me to change, help me to trust you more and put faith in you. If we never went through things we don't understand, if we never went through things that are hard and difficult, why would I ever need faith or trust to be able to trust him? And so as I walk through things, there's an invitation for me to lean on him. Like I'm sitting on this chair today, I'm leaning on this chair, it's holding me up. I put my full weight on him. I lean on him. I put my trust in him. I'm grateful for all of his goodness to me. I want to know you more. I want to trust you more. I want to follow you more. You're a good, good father. We sing it. You are a good, good father. So Lord, even though we go through things we don't understand, and not everything is good. And some things don't make sense to us and probably will never make sense until we see you face to face. The psalmist says, and I make the declaration, we make the declaration that you are good and you do only good. Teach me your principles. You are a good, good father. And we run to you, we turn to you, we put our trace, trust, and faith in you today. In Jesus' name, show us your way. Teach us from your word how to react, how to respond, how to take the next move, how to trust, how to pray. Just teach us from your word, Lord, because you're a good, good father. And uh, your mercy to us today is good. Your love to us today is good. Your forgiveness today to us is good. You're good. And we trust in you. Thank you, Father.